Okay, so we're going to do uh, the setup of the Alienware Alpha. So if you guys saw my unboxing, uh, what I'm going to do now, I've taken the Alienware out of the box, hooked it up to the TV, and we're going to power it on for the first time. So bear with me. I'm going to go turn the power on, and then I'm going to pair the 360 controller. I'm not going to hook up a keyboard and a mouse to it just yet, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the Alienware is on. I have paired the Xbox 360 controller. It's probably a better idea to do this with the keyboard and a mouse, but we'll give it a go here and I'll uh, edit it and splice it if it takes too long. But basically, first thing that I'm presented with is region and language, so I'll set all of those things. Sorry if the screen is a bit small for you guys. I'm going to click or whatever, say next. Uh, and of course, we've got all of the licensing terms here. I'll say accept. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, keep the system up to date and allow Alienware to provide support. So you can put in your email address. You can click on system updates to notify you when they're available, as well as streamline support. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click those. I'll put in my email address and we'll move on to the next step. OK, so next up, it looks like we are going to be setting up our Wi-Fi network. Once the Wi-Fi network is set up, we are going into, uh, I guess this is Express Settings, uh, and we can customize our settings, so we'll see what this is. It's, uh, again, a little bit small on you guys' screen, but it's telling me we recommend these settings. Uh, it looks like automatically find and connect to devices and content on the network, install Windows updates, uh, turn on Do Not Track and Internet Explorer, help protect your PC, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so you know what? I believe I can go back later and customize this. So what I will do is I'm going to say Use Express Settings, and it looks like we're setting up our account now. So at this point, it looks like you want to sign into your Microsoft account, and uh, that's what we'll do now. So I definitely recommend using a keyboard and a mouse when you set this up. Um, just because navigating with the 360 controller is a pain. I don't know if you can use the chat pad. It'll be interesting if you can. Now, I have heard that this portion of the alpha takes quite a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably let the camera run just so we can see what's going on here. Uh, but we'll more than likely edit this portion out, at least the in-between portions here, depending on how long this truly goes. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll pause it here and we'll come back when everything finishes up. Okay, so it looks like the updates are done, uh, or at least they're still going here. It says, do not unplug or power off the system until you have completed setup of your alpha. And it looks like we are going into console mode here. Uh, launch console mode to play games and of course it also indicates that I can use my alpha as a desktop computer I can connect a mouse and launch desktop mode so uh, I'm gonna try both of these out and I'll talk about it in future videos uh, but let me go ahead and just hit a on my 360 controller and see what happens here uh, so it looks like we need to create a password um, setting up a new account for my alpha and my system will reboot during this process. So I'm gonna set this up and then we'll come back and show you more. Okay, so it's back and uh, looks like it rebooted maybe a couple of times here. And so now it is asking me to do an update here. So uh, I'm gonna do the update and then I will come back to you guys once it's completed. Okay, so I have downloaded the update. However, I wanna call this out because this is a not so clear. Um, if you notice, there's like four different steps here, and the first is to set the screen resolution. So with it highlighted, that's number one, I'm gonna press A on the 360 controller, and it gives me two options here, 720p, 60 hertz, 32 bits, or I can go 1080p, 60 hertz, 32 bits. And this is where I got stuck for a moment. I selected that, and I was trying to press A, like it says in the bottom right-hand corner. However, what isn't doing anything? So uh, what I found out you actually have to do here is press the B button on your controller, and that'll take you to the next step. And if I go back to that first step, you'll notice it kept my selection. So uh, we're gonna move to the second step here by pressing B, and it's scale to fit your TV screen. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. It says I need my television's remote control, and to press 
the A button on my controller when I'm ready to see the scaling image. So uh, adjust your television's picture settings to properly fit the Alpha's video output. So uh, I'm gonna hit that here. And on most screens, you can access scaling under menu settings and picture. And uh, let's see what it's goal to do is ensure the tip of each triangle is in the very center corner. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I will attempt to uh, adjust this now, and then we'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, so I've got this pretty good, good enough. I'm going to hit A here. And now we're going to choose the audio output, which in this case is definitely going to be HDMI for me. I do not have it set up to optical right now. So I'll leave it at HDMI. Interestingly enough, I can actually click on the A button to proceed here. So it's only when I was at that first step, uh, which I had to hit B to go to the next step. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit A and install those updates. Uh, and uh, it says my update is finished downloading, and it's going to restart during this process. So I'm going to hit A again, and we will install. One quick note, uh, the machine right now, uh, fairly quiet. Um, I can hear the fans a little bit. You're going to have to take my word on this because uh, I can't actually pull the mic down by the, uh, by the alpha. Um, but I can hear a slight humming right now. And of course, as I play around with this more, I will let you guys know uh, how the experience is here playing games and things like that. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you what it would take to get your Alienware Alpha out of the box and up and running. It does look like I have another update available, so it says to shut the console down to begin the download, which I'll do, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Um, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions about, hey, what does it look in big picture mode, which is launching Steam, and some of this other stuff, maybe desktop mode. I, I don't wanna make one big, long, massive video, so uh, I will reserve and kind of hold back on those for uh, other videos. So stay tuned, because in the coming days, I'm gonna break this thing down and I'll show you what launching Steam in this big picture alpha UI mode looks like. We'll talk about some of the other things as well, including gaming performance, some gaming footage, as well as uh, my thoughts, impressions, and whatnot. I will show you the settings here. This is pretty much what you can get to uh, if you need to go back and change anything that we set up in the beginning. So video, you can set your display and your refresh rate. You can go back and reset the scaling on the screen. You can go in and set the source for your audio if you want to change it, as well as the volume. Customization. Now, I didn't show you the front of the Alienware. If you saw my unboxing video, you saw the, uh, the box or the console itself. Uh, but on the front of it, it's got an alien head head that lights up blue out of the box as well as a triangle kind of on the side that lights blue out of the box. This allows you to customize the brightness of those things as well as the color. So you can change the color to however you want. A little bit of personalization. Network for Wi-Fi if you want to change that up and HDMI. So um, in order to activate HDMI and plug in an HDMI cable. So if you want to remember on the back of the console, there's HDMI in and out. Uh, you can actually configure that HDMI port here. So that's what that is. Um, so that's really about it. Um, again, I will do future videos here where we break this thing down even further. If you have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.